I have a friend that just started playing Minecraft, and I wanted to do a walkthrough of an advanced base to show sort of where the game can go in its later stages. So this is a game that I've been playing. It's multiplayer survival. Uh, I've been going for a little while. <clears throat> so we're up above my base right now. This is sort of my front lawn, if you will. This is a village I set up. I cured some zombie villagers to uh, start the village. So there's one of my villagers. I have these little lights that show which of the homes are occupied. This makes it easier to see when I, when I want to go trade with people. Got carrots there that the farmers will tend to. And in there I have some stuff for helping maintain the village. Now my base is back here. There's a beacon beam. This is uh, an input to the sorter. We'll see more of the sorter in a minute. But if I throw anything into the water, it'll make its way down to the base. Um, there is the output of the beam. This is where the base entrance originally was. And you can see there's a spiral staircase. And it still leads down to the base, but we're going to go down the fast way, which is this. A, for those not familiar, that trick will slow you down enough to prevent you from taking damage. So now we're up in sort of the maintenance area of my base right now. There's the beacon. <clears throat> this right here is an automatic pumpkin farm, automatic sugarcane farm. In here is a farmer, and so this forms an automatic wheat farm. The trees are not automatic. I do have to go manually harvest them, but pretty much everything else about the tree operation is automatic. So once the trees are harvested, as they fall, the wood will make its way into the sorter. The saplings get sorted out right here so that we can go back and plant. <clears throat> and you saw that we just emptied this out, so if we throw the saplings there, in a second or two, they'll make their way back into that chest. Yep, there they go. Start, starting to show up. Uh, let's throw that guy there. Now we're going to sort of skip over this next part and come back to it later. And this is the main section of my base, the lower main section. Um, more inputs to the sorter right there. These are the main inputs to the sorter, three of the main inputs. Um, so as I come back from mining, my mines go out this way. Uh, and I'll show you, I, this is the standard pattern I always use when I'm doing mining. I have one main shaft that's four tall by three wide, and then these shafts go off every fourth block and they alternate so that it forms this pattern. I find that uh, that does a good job of getting uh, high density coverage as well as making it easy to keep track of where I am in the base. Got my little enchanting operation. There's the stuff I need to do the enchanting. Back this way, these are the furnaces. I don't have things automatically come out of the furnaces. I want to be able to pull them out myself so that I can get the points. Um, generally, this would be iron and this would be gold. I don't have any waiting for me right now. So, Back this way is the chicken murderator. There's Fowl Heart, which is what I use to kill the chickens. So yeah, we've got a couple. Again, the chickens are killed manually so that I get the XP for killing them. The eggs are automatically cycled back in. Let's put this back. I can also come here and grab some seeds. The seeds automatically make their way into that box. And so I can feed the chickens. Similar setup over here with the cows. Got wheat coming in here. Got another sword with looting three so that I can 
I'll kill a bunch of cows very quickly. Hop down in here. Grab some loot. Come on. Sort back another input to the sorter, and the sorter is up here. So this is the main workshop area. We've got brewing stand, anvil, got lots of uh, crafting tables. Anything along the top row are items that will get automatically sorted. So there's three more inputs to the sorter there. And then this is the output. Anything that isn't automatically sorted comes in here. And so you can go grab a couple of those things, put them away. So there's old armor, plants. Um, but anything else will get automatically sorted. So let's find something. Actually, only a little bit of iron. Yeah. Pull that out, drop that in there. Eventually, that will make its way back up into there. We'll come back at the end and check that it's done that, but it might take a little while. Uh, the clicking you hear in the background is a sign that the sorter is operating right now, so it's actually sorting things. So let's take a look at how that works. The driver of the sorter is this whole operation back here. So this is the main stack that pushes things that come into the sorter all the way up to the top. And so we're checking, um, this, this checks if there's anything at the bottom. And then there's another signal that's coming down from the top up here. And this is an OR block. So if this OR this is on, this signal turns off. And when the signal turns off, this turns into a clock. Let's see that work. So now this is on, and so this is operating as a clock. And that's going to drive. Um, there's a spiral that goes up there that drives the uh, object lifter. Now, this was probably skipped over a little while ago. We can come back up here. This is the main sorter. Uh, you can see I've got labels on the outside here, too. And so this should be chicken. Let's go grab some chicken. And the sorter is just this pattern over and over again. So there's the three there. This is the main item tube. Uh, it goes in a big circle and comes out over here and makes its way down into, that was the output box that we saw. Uh, at the beginning I showed you that water dropper. That goes down there and comes from way up there. You can see the water dripping. These are some of my overflows for, let's see, yeah, there's cobblestone, there's more cobblestone. Um, we saw the furnaces down below. The furnaces are run from this section right here. So I've got the items that I don't want to go into the sorter. I instead want them to go into the furnace. Coal, iron, gold, chicken, and beef all get sorted out here and then they go down into the furnace and I've got a nice big buffer for coal because so I've got quite a bit of coal. Um, same thing, this is the seeds so that they'll go back to where the chickens are. This is more standard sorter input. This is the wheat to get back to where the cows are. And then more of the same for the sorter input. Uh, so that's kind of a quick overview of what an advanced base might look like. It's uh, how I like to lay out my base. It means that I can go down there, do some mining, come back, drop everything off in here. It'll go back into the sorter. Oh, let's check if our iron. Yep, our iron got sorted back into place. Every once in a while I can take things out of here and move them into the correct chests that aren't automatically sorted. There we go. Um, and it means that when I want to try and build something, when I want to go try and fight some mobs, or you know, when I set up the village that was up at the top, it was pretty easy. 
Uh, the other thing I'll show you, we saw the quick drop to get down here. This is how we can get back up quickly. And we can use the nether as a shortcut. And when you're transporting in and out of the nether, it doesn't pay attention to height, which is what lets me sort of hack my way into using that as an old. And then ends up a little ways away from the base. I do want to try and get that closer at some point. But that brings us right back to where we started. Alright, thanks for watching.